Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back. And today I thought we'd make a short visit to Oak Glen. Nestled snugly up against the base of the San Bernardino Mountains, Oak Glen here has got shops, restaurants, and most importantly, Orchards. What kind of orchards? Well, the sign should have given it away. Oak Glen is a place for apples. Now, this is a place I have been procrastinating on visiting over and over again for years. Actually, until this week, I haven't been up here since I was about 10 years old. Mostly because it's, you know, kind of a drive up into the mountains, a little bit out of the way. But also because apples are seasonal. And when I did come here as a kid, we came at the absolute wrong time of the year. There were no apples up here at all. This year though I'm happy to report we made it in time there are apples everywhere look at these trees they're full of them barrels of apples bushels of apples oodles of apples more apples than you can shake a stick at and I should know I've been trying it didn't occur to me until the other day that I've never actually seen apples growing on a tree before I didn't realize how short and stubby most of these trees were so on my first quick drive through yesterday I was thinking I don't see apples anywhere I guess I was expecting a tall huge tree something like this you know like the cartoon image with the giant red bulbs in it in reality there's so much more camouflage but once you spot them in the the trees, you start seeing apples everywhere. Wow, how about them apples, huh? Now today I'm starting off my explorations at Riley's Farm, far and away the most popular spot in Oak Glen. The Riley family weren't pioneers up in this area. They moved here in the late 70s. But not only did they purchase their property from one of the earliest pioneering families up here, they also exhibited a lot of pioneer spirit, moving up here and living in a log house they built themselves, tending to their apple orchards up here, and eventually, after people kept coming up here and asking if they could pick fresh fruit themselves, they figured out it's a lot more profitable to have the customer pick their own apples and take them home in their own car than packaging them, shipping them, sending them to grocery stores, etc. And now, almost exactly 40 years later, Riley's has expanded to the point that this is the place people think of when they think Oak Glen, and it's easy to see why. Look at all of this. As you can see, the Riley family took their pioneer spirit and went crazy with it. There's all kinds of historical recreations up here, all kinds of things to look at, see, touch, taste, and smell. And as you can imagine, this has become quite a field trip destination. Dude, look at this. It's beautiful up here. This area over here is all colonial themed. Their bakery and restaurant is all built into this recreation of an old public house. And there's all kinds of buildings back here used to recreate and teach people about colonial times. Just look at this place. Look at colonial advertisements. They've got an old blacksmith shop out here where people can do actual blacksmithing, hammering, grinding, bellowing. There's an old Chandler shop out here, which is good because most people don't know what a Chandler does. Other than make out with Monica, am I right? It really is one of those places where you get to completely step back in time. They've got an old pottery shop where the potter could demonstrate how he makes all his wares. Ooh, I just realized, what if this potter's first name is Harry. Would he be a Harry Potter? Not if he shaved. Anyway, as you can see, they've got all kinds of ways of reenacting the past and showing mostly kids, but also adults, how things worked back in the colonial times. And look over here. How about this? Even the restrooms are colonial themed. Now that is a beautiful building to do your business in. Ye olde privy. Wow, it's unbelievable that all of this came from apple orchards. I mean, I mean, obviously the Rileys have invested in the stock market as well. But you know, this is mostly all from apples. Who says money doesn't grow on trees, huh? Now as beautiful as all this is, this is really just the tip of the iceberg. All of this is the newer part of Riley's farm. We're gonna head over to the older part of the farm in just a second. But first I wanted to take a quick look at the sheep. Not too long a look though. We don't want to bother them. All right, that was Colonial Chesterfield. Next we're going to head to the Heritage Homestead area. Which is just down this road over here. And wow, look. Look at this. Now, Southern California is not really known for its color-changing trees. Luckily, up here in the mountains where it gets cold enough for apples to grow, it's also the perfect environment for beautiful fall foliage. Ladies and gentlemen, start your Instagrams. It, it's breathtaking out here. Look at all of this rustic wooden fences, beautiful fall foliage. All behind me are the apple orchards. It's almost like everything I can see is the set of one of those old Disney movies. You know, it's perfect. I guess I should probably mention 
mentioned that I'm here on a weekday, so a lot of the recreation stuff isn't really going on. It's a lot less crowded than it normally would be. But for me, just getting a chance to come up here and enjoy this scenery. And take a walk through the apple orchards. See all this beautiful scenery. This is totally worth it. I said it was a little bit out of the way. That's true. But honestly, I live right next to Disneyland, and it only took me an hour and a half to get up here on a weekday morning. So really, it's not that bad. Although, I would like to visit when it's a little busier. I could watch them make the apple cider, etc. Maybe see a bit more of those historical reenactors. But even when there aren't a lot of people in costumes running around, there's still a lot of history up here. If I have my facts straight, all of this was once part of the Wilshire farm. The Wilshires were actually one of the earliest families out here. And I believe that mountain peak right there in the center was named after them. Not only are their orchards still growing apples being consumed by us today, but according to the ladies inside, this barn has also been here since the old days, over a hundred years old, now home to a gift shop and dinner theater. It was once the packing shed for all those apples. All right, Riley's farm is cool and there's a lot more stuff that I could see and do here. But I think I'm gonna save it for a day when all the historical reenactment stuff is going on. In the meantime, there's a lot more Oak Glen to see. Wow, what a lucky thing getting to come up here when there's not too many people around. From what I understand, this gets pretty dark packed sometimes. Especially right now during apple season. Speaking of apple season, while I'm up here, I actually have to stop by this place over here, Hudson Snow Line. This place has got some great apple cider. I didn't notice this the other day, but apparently they also have some hard cider and wine. Now I don't really drink alcohol. But that stuff does make a lot of people happy, including this guy up here. He looks very relaxed indeed, huh? Now this place is cool because not only do they have another old packing house and cider mill surrounding by beautiful apple orchards, they also grow raspberries. Which, of course, you can come out and pick yourself. And it's the combination of apples and these lush raspberries that make the snow line cider extra, extra special. Check this out over here. Look at all of this apple cider. At first glance, no big deal. There's apple cider everywhere up here. But then you realize this place has multiple kinds of apple cider and they're flavored. I'm okay with apple cider, but a quick free sample convinces you here that fresh raspberry apple cider is the best thing ever. And yesterday, Ali fell in love with it and drank all of it, so I gotta grab some more while I'm here. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff. Get some cider, sample different kinds of apples growing up here, maybe grab a bag for the road, and we're good to go. It's beautiful up here, like a little paradise. Definitely now made it on our list of wedding venue considerations. All right, now if we just hop back in the car here and head a little farther on down the road. Hopefully we can see a few more things before everything closes up here. Another popular stop in Oak Glen is the Oak Tree Village. One of those places that's full of all kinds of cute little shops and a candy kitchen. Armless concrete statues. It bills itself as 14 acres of family fun. And during the busy season and on the weekends, this place has got an awful lot going on. Today it's a little more quiet, you know what I mean? Hey dude, where is everybody? Speak up. What's that? Oh, he's feeling a little hoarse. Wow, look at this, they got a peacock pavilion. There's an animal park down here. Train rides are going on sometimes. And by that I mean the weekends. And would you look at that. They've even got a psychic. Although probably not a very good one or else they would have known we were coming today. Ooh, mystical. I predict that the psychic will be back on the weekend. Wow, look at this. Soaring Swine Acres. It's almost like someone said, we could put a little western town over here. And they said, oh yeah, when pigs fly. Ah, oh, check out this carriage over here. Ooh, these lovebirds have been parked here for a while. Don't worry though, Ma, no funny business going on over here. They're just taking a little nap. Vagrants. Man, this is awesome. I've totally got to come back on a weekend. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? What do we have here? Whoa, check this out. It's Twist and Sprout. Out. All kinds of crazy wooden tables and shelves. Weird. See, this is awesome. This is creative stuff right here. I love when little shops have stuff that you can't get anywhere else. Not only do they have a whole bunch of things here that are totally one of a kind, but while you're shopping, you can visit your old relatives in the graveyard. How about that? The old Boot Hill graveyard, nonetheless. Look at that. This. What in the heck kind of creature is that? Weird. Apparently there's all kinds of critters out here. We got an old cat, there was the whole animal zoo thing. And at the very top of the hill, some deer. Oh, look at these guys. You can buy deer feed for them, feed them some nice corn. Commune with nature, get to know Bambi and 
Wait a minute. Wait just one second. What the heck is that? This guy here looks an awful lot like a goat to me. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe he doesn't know. Oh, this one's adopted. That's so sweet. This family of deer has adopted this goat. Shh. Don't tell him. Hello there, Mr. Deer. Aww. Good for you guys. Good for you. All right, now this is slightly disappointing, but back behind the deer is the coolest place in the Oak Tree Village. It's Mountain Town. Home of the Mountain Safari. A sort of indoor zoo full of all kinds of crazy critters. And unfortunately today, it is closed. I tried to ask the parents in the window if they're gonna reopen today. But so far, they're not saying anything. I think they're trying to bribe me. Holly want a cracker, eh? Well, the joke's on them. I can't even eat crackers. All right, now I'm officially coming back to as soon as I possibly can because trust me, Mountain Town is awesome. It's one of those weird hole-in-the-wall tourist attractions that, well, you'll see in the future. You'll see. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All right, definitely seems like most things are closing up for the evening now, but I can't leave Oak Glen without mentioning this place. The old Law's Restaurant and Coffee Shop. And Cider Mill and Gift Shop and, well, you know, it, it pretty much they've got everything here. This is the coolest place because the other day, Allie and I stopped in here and met Mrs. Law. She's about to turn 101 years old and she's still working in here. Selling handmade aprons and crafts and all kinds of knickknacks and patty wax and most importantly her very own cookbook and yesterday she told me that a long time ago when she was still running the restaurant and all her recipes were being used up there this is back like in the 50s you know there was a little white-headed old man in there who loved the taste of her bread wouldn't shut up about it and demanded that he have the recipe for his own restaurant of course mrs. law being the wonderfully nice lady she is gave the man the recipe and asked where is your restaurant and he said oh it's down in Buena a park. My name is Walter Knott of Knott's Berry Farm. Isn't that amazing? And you could still come in here and get her cookbook with that recipe yourself. And of course, when we got ours, we had Mrs. Law sign it for us. 101 years old and still comes in to work. That's unbelievable. And you know if she's not here, then that means it's just about quitting time for the rest of us. Wow, 100 years old. Imagine the things you see in 100 years. At least 60 or 70 of them up here in Oak Glen. And the crazy part is her kids are still up here running businesses too. Like this one, for instance, Mom's Country Orchards. And it's not just the sign that has a lot of products. There's a lot of products inside the store, too. They shine up and sell their own hand-picked apples. They sell dozens and dozens of jellies and jams and preserves. Jar after jar of them, and these are just the samples. And if you need some pickled asparagus or corn relish or dilly beans, well, they sell those and a whole lot more right here. And the best stuff of all. Don't ask me why I like it but they've got jalapeno asparagus here, and for whatever reason, it's actually really good. It's like a better pickle. How could you improve on the pickle? I don't know, but Mom's has found a way. Pretty darn cool. Oak Glen, the ultimate fall getaway. The scenery is absolutely breathtaking. They got cider, they got pumpkins, apple picking. I spent years procrastinating and saying, oh, I'll get up there eventually. And now I'm totally kicking myself because it turns out that Oak Glen is not only really cute, it's also a whole lot of fun. And as a history nerd, I was very pleasantly surprised to find all kinds of gems up here. Of course, most of them are closed today or at least closing up now. But like look at this for example. This is the old parish house built in 1876 with beautiful epic old trees planted over a century ago by the parish family who literally came overland as pioneers you know covered wagon style and built this place which was even home to the first school in the area. Kids we need you to get an education so we're building a school downstairs. Man imagine that never having an excuse not to go to school. But mom, I don't want to go to school. Listen, mister, you better get your butt downstairs right this instant. Wow. Amazing. Imagine that. Planting sequoias down here a hundred years ago. The house is still here almost 150 years later. That is pretty cool. And a lot of people credit the Parrish family with being the first ones to grow apples up here. At least on a commercial level. Because before that, apparently everyone up on this mountain grew potatoes. As a matter of fact, this little roadway here still has an interesting name. This road that cuts right through the Parrish Ranch is actually called Potato Canyon Road. After the original name and crop of the area. Gotta tell you, it's a good thing old Enoch Parrish settled up here and decided on apples. Because I'm pretty sure my fiance would have found it a lot less cute yesterday if 
I asked her to go potato digging with me, you know what I mean? All right, you turkeys. The sun is going down over there. So I think for today, we've done our duty. Thank you for coming with me on this impromptu first trip up here to Oak Glen, California. Things have been just crazy lately in the old personal life. A lot of bad stuff going on. One of the cats got out. We still can't find it yet. I still got court stuff, although that should be ending in just a couple weeks. The Halloween season this year has been pretty legitimately horrible for us. So it's been extra wonderful to get some time out of the house, you know what I mean? Luckily, there's a lot of exciting new adventures in the works right now that I'm very stoked on. The Notcast is coming back for you, Patreon subscribers. I am definitely seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm getting very excited for the Halloween season to end and begin our next phase of adventures here in Random Land. So make sure you check out all the links down below. And then like me, you'll have done your duty. And you can go home and sleep well. All right, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. building back there is a replica of the schoolhouse that was here in the 1880s. Now that's what I call old school. Oh, but wait, it's just a replica. So it's the new school way of being old school. Nice. Hashtag knowledge. I was bringing this apple I picked for the teacher, but uh, I, don't, I don't think she needs it anymore. She's been gone for a while. Now what? kind of jackass would waste a good apple? Mommy, what's a jelly bean? Huh, I just realized, if his name was Harry, he'd be Harry... Johnson! That's not funny. Not too long a look, though. We don't want to bother them. Right? I was almost too chicken to make that joke. What? Not funny? Some chickens have no sense of humor. Right, Goat? You know what I'm talking about, right, buddy? No? No one likes my jokes. Oh, hey. Sup, dog? No? Don't want to be friends? You do want to be friends? Come no. Oh. Yo, dog, that hurts.